Welcome everybody to my first video ever. I am Terry, the blogger behind Komonogatari and today I'm going to show you my custom pull-up doll collection. I have 12 girls in total and I categorize them by artists in alphabetical order. So let's get started. The first girl I want to talk about is Mini over here. She was made by Sharon Dolls and Sharon is a UK based artist who always has concepts for her dolls and in Minnie's case it was Iris Mint and you can see Iris blossoms not only on her lower lashes but also on her head and on her dress and Sharon is so creative and I'm always always so curious what concept she will come up with next and you can also always tell if a girl was made by Sharon because she has this really cute but also super sophisticated style and I simply love my cute little mini so much then the next girl I want to talk about is Ponyo. Ponyo's face up and eye chips were made by Russian artist Eniva Queen and I named her after the goldfish in the Chibli movie because she reminds me of a cute little goldfish and her face looks right out of a fairy tale. I think that all of Eniva Queen's dolls have this special character to them and also the eye chips she creates have a lot of depth and I simply love her smoky eyes. The smoky eyes that she creates are to die for. And the next two girls came all the way from Thailand and they were made by Kita Sin and he made them so so pretty. They have such innocent bushy eyebrows and such sweet expressions. I call the girl on the left Claire and the girl on the right is Shu. And I named them after French sweets because they are just like sugar to me. They are so, 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 so cute. And especially Shu on the right has these tiny, tiny teeth. And I always thought that I would not like teeth on a pulip, but actually I love her little mouth. She's so, so cute. She completely converted me. I'm now a fan of pulip teeth. And the next girl I'm going to talk about is little Susume. Susume's face up was made by German artist Miki Yuchi. And we talked about creating a face up for an autumnal Mori girl with lots of golden tones and emerald green and fresh blush, fresh lips while still being very natural and I think that Suzume just how can I say she she is completely my autumnal autumnal pulip and my autumnal girl and autumn is actually my favorite season so she's going to be in her element a few days from now now the girl next to her is Sencha. Sencha was created by Nina Stolls and when I got her I immediately called her my goddess of spring because her face is so extremely beautiful. I love the carving of her eyes, of her nose, of her lips 
and she's so otherworldly beautiful I think all of Nina's dolls are simply stunning and she's my goddess of spring indeed and I also love to drink Sencha so yeah fresh green tea <laughs> and the girl over here also came from Thailand she has a face up by Nam Jens and I think that she has such a contemporary makeup look because as you can see on Chi's face her highlight is so on point she looks right out of a makeup tutorial for me and she's just this ethereal beauty with her wonderful blushy cheeks and her sweet mouth and I actually had her nose and her mouth carved and I can only recommend you to send your Mio kit, your BJD in because your girls will look stunning. So, so, so stunning. And now the next girls that I'm going to talk about were made by my friend Maria. And Maria is Poison Girls Dolls. And you know talking about somebody who has her own style is basically mandatory when talking about Maria's dolls. So my first girl from her was this little munchkin over here. This is Miss Ruri and Ruri was actually my first custom doll ever. I was so shy to write a message to any creators, to any artists, but thanks to Maria's kindness, I I mean, I'm still shy, but I'm not shy to talk to people about dolls anymore. And Ruri just is my little natural ray of cuteness. She's pretty much my mascot for Komonogatari and my little helper. And she means so much to me. The girl next to her is her older sister Mayu. Mayu is wearing her summer wig because normally Mayu is sporting black hair and Mayu's face up was made in a Japanese fairy case style. You can see her rainbow colored lower lashes and her cute 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 little her cute little colorful freckles and it is a style which Maria just nails. And the girl next to her is Riese and Riese is my little princess. She's a little cosplayer. I really love to put her in different costumes as you can see on my Instagram and she has this beautiful cherry red wig with the cherry red eyebrows and I cannot even tell how much I wanted a girl like that from Maria because of her own girl pouring who also has this beautiful cherry red hair and eyebrows and I also am in love with Risa's green eye chips. It is such a beautiful color. I love the eye chips that Maria creates. They are also natural and beautiful. Then the next girl is over here. This is Mia. And Mia was love at first sight. I think that the poison girls with the black eye chips 
have this special quality to them. They're just so innocent and so sweet and so classical Poison Girl that I am still in awe that I was able to get this cutie and to add her to my collection. She's just so adorable and I have this whole story about her that she is always keeping the other girls in check and telling them what's good for them because she's just so caring and sweet. I love my little Mia to bits, I cannot even tell you. And talking about loving to bits, here is my newest poison girl. Her name is Hime. It means princess in Japanese and I, I love lilac hair, I love her lilac lower lashes her, and I am extremely in love with her eye chips. They're a mixture of grey and lilac and even though it's a fantasy color they just look so realistic and I'm in love with this girl. She, I also feel like she's the youngest out of my poison girls, like the, the little sister. And her, her hair is super long because she's a princess, you know. And I love my little princess. I love pretty much all of my dolls, to be honest, telling you how cute they are. Or better said, not telling you how cute they are every 10 seconds is a struggle for me. I feel so lucky and happy to have each and every single one of those girls and to play, to tell stories is just my dream come true. So this was it. This is my custom Pulip collection. I hope that you enjoyed my video. I would love for you to give me feedback, tell me what kinds of videos do you want to see and to like and subscribe as YouTubers always say. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to link my blog down below as well as my Instagram where I'm very active. I'm also going to link my Twitter. I'm not as active on there, but I'm trying to get into it. And yes, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for loving pool lips. And I hope to see you really, really soon. So, bye.